Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to make some keto sausage balls. Yep, I'm going to make some balls right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you'll find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to make some keto sausage balls. Balls. <laughs> You're going to say that a lot in this video, This aren't is you? going to be a middle school level video. Like, I just, I know it. It's like when the kids played Mad Libs and they wanted to put every noun and every verb be like, but. <laughs> but. Well, we are always looking for different ways that you can have an on-the-go thing for either breakfast or a lunch, a snack, or even something for an appetizer. And what could be better than balls? <laughs> so we're going to make keto sausage balls. balls. And that's always a challenge in our house because not everybody in our house likes traditional sausage. Like, you no. like sausage meat, but you don't like links. And it's the same thing for Caleb. Exactly. Like, I've never liked links. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was the casing just doesn't sit right with me or what. But, I, yeah, I've never liked links. I'm not even hugely fond of patties. Um, I need sausage to kind of be mixed with mixed something. Mixed with something. The funny part is, is you like like hot dogs, which the bottom line is hot dogs is nothing more than beef sausage. I can't explain my weirdness. <laughs> I mean, where would we even begin, right? I don't know. But I love sausage meat. And what we've always had to do in the past is we would get like sausage links because they're always like on clearance at our mm -hmm. local Penn Dutch and stuff. And we'd have to like bring them home and Rachel would cut all the casings off because her and Caleb don't want to eat them that way. Yeah. And we love things like sausage balls, but balls. usually they're very high in carbohydrates. Yes. So today we're going to make a keto version. And again, this is great for breakfast. It's great for an on-the-go lunch. You can use it with eggs, without eggs, take it with you on the way out the door. And it'll even make a really good appetizer as the holidays start coming up. Yeah, this is something that you want to like bring with you because people are like, I don't know if keto food's going to be very tasty. It's awesome. I promise you, you, nobody will know that this is a keto recipe. And even though he's going to deny this forever, I'm telling you, throw some tomato sauce on this, depending on what flavor of sausage you use. That's going to be the key. It's going to make the most incredible meatball balls you've ever had. <laughs> well, let's get into what we're going to need for the recipe. So we're going to start off with the first thing we're going to need is some sausage. Now, you can use any kind of sausage. We're going to go easy today, and yep. we're just going to use this Smithfield breakfast sausage. And the reason we use this one, it is like one of the lowest carbohydrate ones uh, and cleanest ones that I can find without going and spending like $10 a pound. Plus, you can find it anywhere. You can yeah. find it at Walmart. And just to give you an idea, two ounces of this is a serving. There's six servings in here. We're going to use the entire thing. It's 190 calories per serving, but there's zero carbs in here. There's uh, 17 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein. Now, as far as the ingredients, where are the ingredients on this one? No I ingredients. Think, no, they're here. They're just like, oh, they're underneath the fold. So we can't read it on this one. But I believe it does have just a little bit of dextrose, but it's like the last it's weird. thing on the, um, the ingredient list. So we just go with it. Yeah, it's like weird packaging. Yeah, it's just the way they wrapped it. Okay, after that, we're going to need some eggs. We actually need one egg. A we're going to use Happy Egg Company. We always use free range eggs. We need some almond flour. You can also use coconut flour, but you're going to use a lot less. We're going to use one cup. So you would end up using probably about a quarter to a third of a cup of coconut flour. But I haven't tried it with coconut flour. You'd have to experiment a little bit. Yeah. We're going to need some baking powder. Bacon powder. We're going to need some onion powder. But again, you can add whatever spices you want to it. You don't have to use onion powder at all. Or you can add it if you want a little bit of that onion flavor. Because especially if you're using something like this, it's already got some seasonings in it. Oh, it does. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Smithfield actually makes a really good sage breakfast sauce I was that just, is really good. I was just about to say that. But sage has like a strong flavor. So you're going to want to adjust your flavoring It'll based on. It'll be great on... for Thanksgiving. Oh, my goodness. Now, yes. we're using the hot one. But I can tell you because Caleb's not a hot person. But in 
this particular recipe, you don't taste, it's not hot at all. It's just got the perfect amount of spice that when you mix it with everything, it absolutely is incredible. And we're not saying that our child is not attractive. We're saying that he does not like spicy food. Finally, we're going to need some cheese. And yes, cheese, we are using please? pre shredded cheddar cheese. It's just easier for the recipes. I know there's some potato starch in there, but it's so negligible, we don't worry about it. But if you really want to, you can pre shred your own. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to need a bowl and stuff. So if you want to push everything to the side, doop, we're going to go ahead doop. and get started with this. Now, this is a little bit of a messier thing because we're going to be mi mixing like meat. Mm -hmm. So. I love you so much. I went and got you some gloves. Awesome. Do you need me to help you with these? You're going to have to I inflate them. I feel like I'm okay. Them. You know, I I put these on every Sunday to do diaper changes. Not these particular ones, but I've got some practice with gloves. So we are working with pork. So, but more importantly, it's kind of sticky. And since we're here and not over at the sink where we can keep going back and forth and washing our hands, I figured it would just be that much easier. So the first thing we're going to do, oh, I did forget one ingredient because it's in the refrigerator. We need some sour cream. So I'm gonna go grab that and I'm gonna let you start off with, we need one cup of almond flour. Wow. My brother, I cannot wait for him to try this recipe because he is a huge fan of sausage balls. <laughs> um, every Christmas. You have the ledge. Oh, that's right. Ooh, sorry, <laughs> there goes the bowl. Well, you um, gotta fill that back up. Yeah. We are almost out of almond flour. I know, it's like weirding me out. Now, we always get our almond flour from Costco, but I actually found out that they sell the blue diamond version, which I, oh, you are making a mess. <laughs> <clears throat> they sell the blue diamond version on Amazon. I will leave a link down below. It's about 50 cents more than the Amazon version, um, but it's actually a really good almond flour. And I think it's like $12.99 for uh, three pounds. Are you ready? Yes, I got rid okay, of my Okay, now mess. that you're done with your mess, okay, we'll put that to the side. You need your baking powder, and we're gonna go with one teaspoon of baking powder. Here you go. Yeah, like what I was saying was my, my brother and my dad both always, like, we always made sausage balls, balls, for Christmas, and um, I'm excited to have one that doesn't have breadcrumbs in it. Yeah, I'll take that. You need one teaspoon of onion powder. Use the other side. Aw, this guy has a little ledge too. I like that smell. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna go with our cheddar cheese. Ooh, it's a brand new bag. This one actually, I think, came from Aldi's. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Happy really Farms. cheap in Aldi's. And we're gonna go a nice cup. Like, it's a, you're gonna end up with about a, a one and a quarter cups, but be a little generous here. You okay. can probably give even a little bit more than that. Like, what? let's say a heaping cup. I like where this is going. Now, if you really want, you could measure it out. We can always add a little bit more. We're going to kind of go by how wet uh, everything is when you're done. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and you can just use this and kind of mix that all together before we add the wetter ingredients. And the reason we're doing it like this is because you don't want to overmix the meat. Otherwise, it's going to be a little tough when you cook it. So we want to be able to manipulate that meat as little bit as possible. You know what I realized? We didn't state how easy this recipe is. That's right. We're this in the middle of it. This recipe is super easy. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can cook it. Yes, as you can see, I'm in the midst of doing it. You know, a lot of people think when we say that, like, we're kidding. We're not kidding. This I'm was not... Rachel's idea for this series, by it the way. Is. I just want to be clear. Yeah, no, there was no way that, like, Joe is, like, throwing me under the bus or making fun of me in any way. Like I always say, like, I just, I'm not a great cook. 11 years together, I've done all the cooking. Yeah. And I enjoy doing all the cooking. Until we started making these videos. <laughs> okay, that's good, it's mixed enough. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add in our sausage. Do you have something to cut that? You no. have got to, because this stuff, it gets all like yucky. What I do is I just kind of slice it down like that. Have you ever noticed turn it inside out. that like the cheaper you go on sausage and the chub, the more it's like tallow. Yeah, like, that's why the it. Smithfield is a pretty good quality. Yeah. Okay, now to that we're gonna add two tablespoons of sour cream and then one egg. Okay. Two tablespoons, one and two. Ooh, I like these gloves. I feel so invincible. 
And finally, one egg. I'm really going to get to work my hands in this. Look at this. The egg went inside of it, and it's Where not... Where did you crack the egg? On the side of the bowl. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dig your hands in there and mix it all up. Ooh! I'm going to keep us... We're going to keep a kitchen clean as we move for once. If you get gloves, I feel like this would be a great fall Thanksgiving recipe to involve the kids with because this feels like cold Play-Doh. Feels super fun, right? And as long as you've got gloves on, it won't be all over the children. That's true. A lot of times you think you can only do baking recipes with kids. That's like, right. you know, like sweet ones. But why not do a savory This is actually something recipe. that the kids would enjoy making because they get to get their hands in there and get them yeah. all, all dirty. And again, all we're trying to do here is incorporate everything really well. So once you think you've got that all done, we can move on to the next step. Awesome. I just want to play with it. And again, you could add a little bit more cheese if you want to. I think we've got the perfect amount. What do you think? I, I think you should get me like the little Play-Doh play equipment and then like I can like play with this some more. Are you done here? Maybe. Okay, we can go ahead and take your gloves off. Oh, okay. Inside out. Boop. Boop. Okay. No mess. Now what we're going to do is we are going to scoop these out into balls. Now, we have a couple balls. of different coop cookie scoops. This is the normal cookie scoop that I use for like when we're making cookies. I want to say, I think it's an inch or three quarters inch. This is a little bit bigger one. And uh, this one, I, I, I tried measuring it. It's about a one and three quarters inches, maybe two inches. Okay. It's kind of like in between. So we're going to go with the bigger one. You can do it smaller too. If you're looking more for an appetizer, I suggest doing the smaller balls, but then you just have to uh, adjust your cooking time. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to scoop this out. Try not to pack the ball in and we're going to, we're shooting to get 20 balls. Balls. <laughs> so I'll let you just kind of scoop them out and put them on to. So like that? Yeah. So just, and then kind of like flatten and don't let it overdo it because again, let... we want to get 20. Now I'm going to let you flatten the balls because I don't want to touch them with no gloves on now. Oh, okay. Now we can generally, we're going to cook this in the air fryer, by the way. We forgot to mention where we're going to cook it. Yeah. So you got way too much there. Uh, so we're going to cook this in an air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, that's okay. You can put it in your oven but we're gonna put it in the air fryer at 370 degrees um, for 10 to 12 minutes. If you are using a traditional oven, 375 degrees. So while you're doing that, let me go just preheat our air fryer. Okay. Well, I think we got it all and we barely got 20. Very we, nicely done. Okay. The reason I'm shooting for 20 is because that's gonna give us 10 servings at two per piece. Yeah, and I mean, you can see these are generous servings. Yep, so this is what we've got. Now we're going to go in the air fryer. Now our air fryer is not going to do all 20 of them, obviously, at one time. So let me go grab the basket. And we'll just, do you want me to do this since I have gloves on? Yeah, please. So we're just going to drop 10 of them in our air fryer. If you are looking for an air fryer, this air fryer is amazing. We are literally using this thing every single day. I really missed our air fryer. I forgot how much I missed it. I know, and I actually like the square look. Yeah, this so is this, is, this is a square basket. We got it on Amazon. I believe it's $99. This is the larger one. Mm -hmm. And two, four, six, eight, nine. So we'll start with 10. We like to have a little, you want to have a little bit of a gap between them so mm -hmm. that the air can get around them. Yep. Again, if you don't have an air fryer, no problem. You can cook these in the oven. You can even fry them in a frying pan. We just choose not to do it that what way. What would you put them in the oven for? Like 375 degrees. Time-wise, you're just going to have to judge. Keep checking on it. Keep checking on it. So yeah, so with this air fryer is amazing. We have the larger one. I'll leave a link for that. And they also have a smaller version if you're a smaller house. And I think it's like 20 or $30 cheaper. But we cannot keep these things cooked and ready to go. They're just, as soon as we make a batch, they're, they're gone. Okay, so in the air fryer, 10 to 12 minutes, 370 degrees, or ours doesn't do five minutes. So I would go 370, 375, depending on your air fryer. Yeah. And you want to go until they're crispy. Depend and you can have it a little under crispy or a little bit over crispy, depending on what you like. But it's usually around how many minutes for us? Like 10? Um, about 11 to 12 minutes is yeah. usually where we end up. So we'll be right back. All right, balls are done. 
the balls are done. So they've been in there for, they were in there for 11 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, we put the second batch in, but this is what we got. Now, again, we like them crispy. Yes. But if you don't want them crispy, you can take them out at somewhere around 10 minutes. Again, we find about 11 minutes is absolutely perfect. This is what we've got. Look at those are really nice. They're really nice. And now you want to grab a knife and yeah. we'll cut one and we'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. And that's what I it mean, like. it is all meat. Yeah. Because there is no like batter or around it where you've got like, you know, a thick layer of something and then a little bit of meat in the middle. I mean, this this is like hungry man. And the sour right? cream adds just the right amount of juiciness to it. It does. It's yes, exactly. It's not like all dried out in the right. middle. Are you ready? Yes. Dink. Dink. Mm. There really are per bark. They are so good. Oh my goodness. They're super cheesy. They're cheesy without oozing cheese. Now, if you wanted to ooze cheese, take them out somewhere around 10 minutes. But, oh man, they're good. And I am telling you, throw some tomato sauce on this, like a low carb tomato sauce, and you have the perfect meatballs. Yeah. So, so good. You wanna well, go over the calories? Yeah. While I keep eating? Well, I'm trying to finish eating. Mm. So let's go over the macros. So again, if you use the size cookie scoop we have, we're gonna go 10 servings in this, two per serving. Two and balls. A, two. Everybody gets two and balls. And again, that is a decent size. It is pretty filling. Those are decent size balls. <laughs> okay, so if we do that, we're gonna look at 300 calories for two of them based okay. on the, the ingredients that I used, 26 grams of fat, 14 and a half grams of protein, Wow. three total carbs per two so each one of them is one and a half carbs but it gets better and one and a half grams of fiber so a serving of them is one and a half net carbs and i mean that is a decent sized breakfast for real like yeah. you're gonna send your kids out with that for breakfast and i mean now if you want to just have a really nice breakfast if you're at home you don't need it on the go two of those mm -hmm. with two eggs Right, that would be 440 calories because an egg is 70 calories. Wow. You'd be at one and a half net carbs, three total carbs for two nice eggs, some sausage, have a nice cup of coffee. They pack really well. So, I mean, you can take them for lunch yep. too. I mean, I think they would do well for, with your kids. They don't last in our house. They just don't, they really don't. We have to keep making batches of them. And honestly, I mean, we've broken down the macros for you, but expense wise, it's a nice breakdown for a meal prep because well, it's very inexpensive. When you consider a roll of sausage is like $3, not on sale. And again, that's getting, that's the better brand. The Smithfield yeah. is the better brand. You know, if you use pasture raised eggs, that's uh, 50 cents an egg. If you pay full price, so we're at 350. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're using a cup of almond flour. Let's say maybe, maybe a dollar for all of the other ingredients. Let's round it out, say $5 for the entire recipe. That's, you know, 10, that's 10 servings. Yeah. Right? So we're looking at, you know, $10, uh, $5 for 10 servings. So when 50 we, cents a serving I mean, for 300 calories. We were always trying to find with like three boys that were growing. We were always trying to see like how much per person could we like keep the cost down to. Yeah. And when we would find a recipe that was like five to $10 and feed the whole family, like that was a winner in our book. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Do a favor, let us know down in the comment section if you make these and let us know how would you serve these? Would you have them for breakfast? Would you have them for lunch? Would you make them just uh, as an appetizer for somebody? Or would you even make them maybe just have them sticking in the refrigerator so as you're cooking dinner, you can have a little bit of a snack? Are you actually asking people to tell us how they would use our balls? Yes. Okay. Well, that is our video, so do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new ball recipe, you'll be alerted to it. There's another batch. Until next time, bye. bye.